Okay. What you're looking at is a photo from a Christmas in the 70s my sister took. I do not have a year, but I would have to guess 1974, 1975 time frame maybe. But if you look in the picture, the centerpiece is a Tonka super tanker, and in front of it is a partial shot of the Tonka rescue ambulance that I posted on YouTube already. That belonged to my youngest brother, and my other brother received one of those for Christmas as well. But the super tanker, all mine. Look at there. There's that super tanker that was in the picture. I posted a couple of pictures of, I'm sorry, I posted a couple of videos of a few Tonka items that I had in my childhood. One of them was a little dump truck set that was I mentioned was one of my top two favorite Tonkas. This is the other one. This truck, when I first saw it in town, I had to have it. And every time I would go to town with my mom at Christmas time, I would make sure she knew I wanted it, and I got it. This truck was just awesome. You could fill it up with water. If you look at the bottom, you'll see a valve. That, and the decals are still on it, and they're pretty good. You'll see a valve that you could attach hoses to. And I have only one of the two hoses left. But then you could take and open the valve up and drain the water out of the super tanker. Cannot tell you how many gallons of water that sucker had in it, but it was always filled up with water. Okay, there's a shot of one of the hose sections. You got two with a super tanker, and there's, I'll, as I said, I only have the one left. Okay, I just drug the trailer around just so you get a shot of the back. You see where the two hoses were stored? There's little rods that protrude through the shell of the body, and you just slip the hose up on there. And you can see that the caution uh, decal on the back is, you know, it's not in great shape, but at least it's there. Okay, there's a shot of the trailer. Uh, super tanker decal is intact on both sides with a, just a little bit of lifting on the corners. Not much, but just a little bit. And there's the top view. And right there in the center, I'm not going to open it because it's old, but you, that's where you would fill it up with water and then close it back. And it had air holes to where when you would pull the truck around with the water in it, it would, I guess, let the air out. <laughs> And here's the cab. It's just a standard red cab. And this uh, this thing is in really good shape. I have another picture I couldn't locate of where I'm actually outside with it with a couple of friends playing with the super tanker. Uh, I wish I could ha I wish I had the picture now. I would show you that shot. But this truck was uh, one I didn't leave outside. I didn't really abuse and I think you can tell by the appearance of it I I really really love this truck one of the things I really liked about it was the axles on the rear how they were independent and they would just adjust to whatever they rolled across I thought that was a really neat thing to see on a child's toy back then in the 70s now I have today a total of four of these one of them is a chevron uh, sales well let me start over one of them is was sold through chevron and it has a chevron in place of the super tanker it's still new in the box it's you know the box is in fairly fair shape but it's never been taken out of the box i have another one exactly like this except for the cab has got rust on the roof and it's missing both hoses and the last one is an older version the cab is red it has the different front end it's got the metal lower part front end and the tanker body is silver and it has shell on it I picked that one up I think at a yard sale for about 10 bucks this, uh, the one that looks like this super tanker, I got it off of eBay for $9. I cannot remember what the shipping was, but it was fairly cheap. 
it was just one of those impulse buys it was running out of time and nobody had bid on it so i said well if i can get it for nine bucks i'll buy it so i bid on it and got it it too was missing the hoses but i just went ahead and grabbed it just to have this tonka super tanker this is one they ought to think about re-releasing again because this was a really fun tonka and being that it's mostly plastic except for the cab I mean, I think today's parents would feel safe with their children playing with it. But it's uh, it was a fun toy. If you have any comments, please post them. If you have this truck, please post a video of it. I would like to see more of these on YouTube. Once again, thank you for viewing and enjoy your day.